I'm joined by a very special guest who I have to inform Winter that I'm recording this. So, hi Winter, how are you? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm wonderful. We've recorded before and um, we have the, I have the pleasure of re-listening re to all this information again and hopefully getting new tidbits from you. Um, but unfortunately it didn't come out properly because it was just my face. So now hopefully the audience can see your beautiful face and not just me. It's been pretty fun. Cool, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah. So we've come in, you come into my Facebook quite recently and I resonate a lot with the messages you say and talk. You've, I resonate a lot with a lot of people, but I feel like we do really have like a very um, deep, deep philosophy and we share a lot of common things, which is cool. And then I found out you do energy work and you do a lot of good work in that area. So uh, my first question is, how do you come into the health community, the energy community, the health energy community on Facebook and in real life? Yeah, cool. Um, well, I, it had always been like a background interest. It wasn't, um, it was never like my driving thing. Of like, I'm going to be a healer. I'm going to be an energy worker. Like I never identified with that as my core personality. Um, but because I was always curious about the world, I still have had um, like trainings throughout my life. So like when I was 20, I don't know, like 20 years ago, I got my um, Reiki they call it Reiki, you know, Reiki master. Um, it's just, as most people know, it's just a level. It doesn't actually mean you're like a master. It's just the name of the level. Um, so I became a Reiki master. Um, and then I, also I had done like trainings um, with different shamans like Michael Harner, who's popular in the United States um, and a few other people. And just a lot of random different stuff. Again, it was kind of like in the background, though. Um, I was really into film and working on film and producing. And um, I also worked in the music industry. And um, I just like that energy of all the, that community and working together and stuff. But anyway, it was recently, like two years ago, is when this came to development, um, this phase. Um, and again, it was kind of like by accident. Um, I was doing i was like obsessed with subliminals do you know what those are yeah i do yes 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 subliminals. Okay. um so and i was like in a community that was obsessed with them and we all wanted like superpowers and um you know i had already been studying the mind and and was very into exploring um like human potential and the the fact that it was limitless um and using the mind for that mastering the mind to uh um you know, to master the, the 3D world, like your your experience. So anyway, to me, subliminals made a lot of sense because I already understood like how the subconscious worked, blah, blah, blah. So we got into that. We were all obsessed with that. I was listening to them like 24 seven. Um, the woman that was running the group, it, it got like very popular, very intense, very crazy. Um, she started developing very strong um, psychic abilities and she was doing readings for people and um it just turned into like this very uh, intense thing that everyone was like really into but so she did my reading um and she called it a true self it, like a true self reading you could think of it as like a soul origin um your what your higher self would express at um what whatever you want to call it okay um she called it true self and she said that mine was a phoenix. So everyone was like very excited. Okay. It was like this very mm -hmm. moment, you know, I was excited. I felt cool. You know, they're supposed to be able to like birth universes and all this stuff. So, you know, but, um, I, the way my personality is, it's like, I love all this crap and I'm very like open-minded, but I also have, um, I'm an Aquarius, so I also have, like, this very, like, logical side. It's like, great, that is awesome. Thank you for the attention. But if that's true, I should be able to do something with it. <laughs> so, if, I mean, like, a phoenix can birth universes and destroy planets. So I should have some kind of ability if <laughs> this is true. So, um, so I started, like, practicing. And I'm talking, I mean, this is, like, you know, 10 hours a day for years. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't, like... This was a lot of work, okay? So I started practicing and I started on myself and I started simple. Um, and again, remember I had some experience, so I knew a little bit about the inner worlds and the spirit worlds and well, all that crap. 
And um, it, I started simple with like, okay, if I'm in a state of depression, can I destroy that state and give birth for the state of joy? Something like that. You know, basically starting just at like basic emotion levels. Mm -hmm. um, so it seemed to be working and I got excited. And then I went, um, then I started experimenting on other people. Again, like we started simple and or we also did like a lot of AI burning, you know, like AI contracts and um, plug in like uh, implants and all that. What does that mean? Um, are, awesome intelligence. Are, are, are you into all that or no? Okay, well, it's like a certain thing that um, certain subcultures are into, but it's like a <laughs> This is a weird kinky shit notion. <laughs> No, so, that's like another topic but no the ai is like um it, it's too basically weird if you're not into it but some like of the groups are into it on facebook but it's um just think of it as outside interference energetic outside interference let's just think of it that way um and, and that's what it is um uh just any kind of attachments um uh it could be entity at anything that would attach your energy that has like a negative influence so uh, we were all into that at the time so i started with a lot of that a lot of like emotional level all that kind of normal like healing level stuff and it was like really working so um it just kind of went from there you know then i i post one day i posted everyone's testimonials and it just like exploded um so that's like how it started. It was kind of an accident. Someone told me I was this thing and I was like, okay, well, let's test it out. <laughs> and it, it turned into this whole life. <laughs> so you found the rising phoenix, didn't you? Funny enough, the rising phoenix was you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think I told you in the last time we talked um, was when I, I had gone on a vision quest when I was like 20 and I it was right before the... Um, um, the 9-11 and I saw a vision of the towers burning down mm -hmm. and then that's when I had heard that voice like you are the phoenix rising from the ashes um so yeah so that kind of like ties into the phoenix thing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah I mean there's like a lot to it but that's a little bit of a backstory <laughs> that's so amazing so you tapped in very early on um, to the power of energy, your energy, for your own self-experimentation. Doing 10 hours a day, by the way, is hardcore. That I can relate to that too. Like going extreme, <laughs> like people do a little bit and there's something to the communities of like, hey, let's all do a little bit of meditation every day. Let's do, or there's some of us that go like, nah, let's go hardcore. Let's spend all our days doing it. So yeah. I can relate to that and I can relate to you on that level. But yeah, it's amazing that you found and used the power, you're saying using the power of your own human body energy to kind of manifest um, massive special psychic abilities you're talking about? What kind of abilities are you, are you changing in yourself and other people? Oh, like what do I use the Phoenix Force for? Mm. Um, okay, yeah, like, so we, again, it just like built from there, experimenting more and more of like, what can it do? And yeah, so basically now I have like 200 topics that I work on. Um, and at this point too, like, just to, I'm just going to go backwards a second because it just, cool. um, like, you know, so I was doing a lot of sessions, like a normal, it, it would be like a normal energy session where you pay someone for a session and they do work on you for that hour and then it's over. Um, but then it was just getting so crazy. And plus, like, if people needed more, you know, they had to keep buying more and more sessions. So I ended up recording them. Um, recording the energy on an mp3 and then they just have to buy the session once and then they can replay it over and over you like know a subliminal, like a subliminal limit subliminal in a way. Except there's no subliminal mm. in it <laughs> but it's but it's like that it's it's i know it's hard for people to understand but it's just like mm. when you press if you buy the mp3 or you get like one of the gifted ones you press play mm -hmm and the energy is coming out of it. There's no words in it. It's just, just like you are receiving some of my energy right now through through this, um, it's just more intentional, like a full energy session. You press play and you get the energy, you put it on loop, you get the energy all night. <laughs> and there's like 200 different topics. So people, what you were asking of, like, what can you do? There's stuff like healing trauma, um, there's unlocking like telepathy, telekinesis, um, master your own powers, 
um, um, beauty, youth. Um, there's like a, there's one called Supernatural Feminine Beauty that um, works really well. Like people get really good results with that. And it's also hard to, um, I think in the last interview I was saying now I'm um, like testing each one specifically um, and fully, but there was like so many at first that it got like out of control. Like it's okay. also hard to say because the that the female the supernatural female beauty one so mm -hmm. many people bought it so yeah it's easy to see like oh good all these people got results but then I have these other ones where only like one person bought it I don't know if they ever got results <laughs> so right now I'm go like testing each one. Did you last question? Did you develop them based on the needs of the clients at first, or was it based on what you thought would be cool, or did you amalgamate both of those things into? Yeah, it was definitely like customer demand, so it it just got out of control, which was my own fault. But I was just like mm. making them like whatever everyone wanted and then all of a sudden I had like 200 tracks that I couldn't keep yeah. track of and who That's was cool. good. Like you're such a nice person that you're like oh I've got to try and fit everyone's demands into this <laughs> is 200 now here we go. I know well it seemed like a good idea at the time I mean we were like very excited you know what I mean like we had never experienced anything like this before you know so um it was like a very exciting time and you know I just went like a little overboard <laughs> um, but now, like you know um, but now so oh like so what happened was um uh I think I was telling you last time like you know it's very exciting and all these people are telling you results and but then there are more serious things that happen and people asking for help and for me I don't know what other people would be like in this situation but the pressure like I I want to be able to promise this person like this will work for you in this amount of time um, if it was like a more serious request about health or mental health or physical um, but it was very hard for me because you know I'm like well so-and-so said they got those results and so-and-so said they got the but you don't know for sure <laughs> and it starts to like mess with your mind you know um, mm -hmm. so that was when I did I did the youth track um, absolute youth for a year straight and I only focused on youth because I needed something physical that I could see pictures from because I was going like not literally going crazy but it was really messing with my mind and I did not like the feeling you know so I did that for a whole year and then I don't know if you saw them on Facebook but um I I got the results the before and after and I mean I like cried I was so happy I was like thank God this really worked. Like this truly worked. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I, I haven't reversed. The goal was um, to uh, the age where all systems are running at like optimal performance. So that would be like for a woman that's like w is different for different people, but it would be around 2021. 20, I obviously didn't reverse every system to that point, but I had so much progress that it was so obvious that I knew I could just stop questioning it. You know, like when you see the two pictures next to each other, it's like, mm -hmm. thank God I can get stop this phase of like worrying about everything. I know there's literally no one that would deny those pictures. And you know, <laughs> no science person, no skeptic, no nothing. I, I can relate to what you're saying about doubting. I go through these cycles where I doubt what I know. So I get excited yeah. about something and like, Hmm, now I've heard, seen some contrary information, something might be more powerful and it starts to lose doubt. Transcendental meditation being one of them recently I've come back to. So I relate to that. And it's nice to have that, like you said, reconfirmation of actually shit, you know, I've now got, got my faith restored in what I'm doing. Now I can be fully myself and grow and allow myself not to have that niggling subconscious doubt. So, yes. You know, and mm. Yeah, it's just hard. It's a lot of pressure when people depend on you and it mm -hmm. can it can really like pull you under if you let it, you know. But so then, like, after that, when I saw, like, okay, this is definitely working, then I committed a year. So that at that point, I was only listening to tracks for youth because you can take a picture of that. You can prove that to someone, you know, including myself. <laughs> so then the year after that, I did only tracks to improve the ability, like, to make my ability stronger because I was like, okay, well, if this is working, then let's make it work better and faster and for more people. <laughs> so that's, like, what we're coming out of right now. So that just ended. So I was basically like in a cave for the last year. Um, you know, I wasn't marketing. I wasn't pushing myself on social media. Um, you know, I was just doing like inner work and I to make that ability stronger. Um, but we just finished that. 
and um, like I said, the 200 topics got kind of out of control. So we've been testing like each one individually. So the first one that's for like emotional healing and trauma and stuff, we tested that and we had 100% results with all the people um, within two weeks. This is for like um, healing, like trauma for deaths in the family, childhood trauma, um, addictions, uh, confidence, like phobias, all this stuff. And so I have like 70 um, testimonials for that. That I'm posting, yeah, like... I'm where, where, um, where are these testimonials? Are they on your... We'll get started. Right. So I'm, I'm posting them on Instagram. They're, like, in the queue, so every single one... If you go to my Instagram, you'll see the old ones, and then you'll see that now I'm posting again and the new ones are coming up. Um, mm. I don't post them all at once because then no one will see them, but you'll see new ones will be posted each week from mm. that from that group, you know, and then we also got to do the ruthless diet test. That was the one that was just happened to be what people wanted. I, I wasn't even trying to test that one. Um, but a bunch of people wanted it. That's the one that, um, it changes your cravings so that you only crave optimal food for you, your body specifically. And it also repulses you from, um, food that will harm you. So people got, they reported like instant results from that. So I, <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that, but so those ones are going, going up. And then the other test that we got to do was the supernatural. So telepathy and telekinesis, um, everyone who followed through on that got results from those. Um, for some reason it was harder, like maybe the people that do emotional healing are more serious. So they follow through like the personality type Unfortunately, the superpower ones, um, only, you know, only like four people followed through and even did it. Um, but all those people got results. Mm. So I'm still, I'm still happy, but obviously I still have to do more experimenting because so few people um, followed through. It's, it's hard to get people to do it when you're offering it for free, um, you know, to follow through on that. So mm. But anyway, my point is, is now we're testing all the topics. It's going really well. Mm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm clear now in the public which ones have been tested, which ones haven't, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's like where we are now. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, I checked out your site after we spoke the first time. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. And I love the programs, the offer that you offer. And yeah, you said one there that particularly intrigued me. They all do, by the way. But this one about the food one, like, because I've got weaknesses to being the wrong foods. And I think pretty much everyone does. And I'll be surprised that's one of your most popular ones. Like, and you saying that um, you've got a lot of good results from aversions to the foods you shouldn't eat. And almost like a magic pill. You know, if you're a cynic, you'd be like, hmm, isn't yeah. this ideal that she's suggesting? Like, you know, it'd be brilliant. So that you get results um, from aversions to things you shouldn't eat and then does that also mean as um liking the foods you do as a consequence liking the foods you should eat as yeah so like what they told me were and well so i also have all of the tracks have it's what i call a burn list it's like the directions that i give the phoenix course um and so there's like long directions of what it's supposed to do and that you can read but anyway what people actually reported was um they started buying stuff that they never bought before. Like they want it. Obviously the point is not, if you're like forcing willpower, then, um, then you know, you don't need like the track, you know? So the point is that they're doing this naturally. Um, and again, there's no reason to believe that it's from the track and really, unless you see the results from my other tracks, cause you know, like when you see a physical before and after, you know, like someone who, um, if they heal their stretch marks or something, you know that that came from the track, there's nothing else. So then it makes you more apt to believe, like when you hear a testimonial about a ruthless diet, that, oh, that's probably true because those other ones that couldn't have happened any other way were true. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, there's okay. 100% ways you're testing to know it's actually yeah, that that's working. Like mm -hmm. normally, if it was only like this diet one, there wouldn't really be reason to believe that, oh, this is coming from energy work. But anyway, I'm sorry, the people said they were buying stuff that they never bought. Like when they went to the cafe, um, she was saying she bought like this green juice instead of coffee, which she would never, ever, ever do. She said it was like ridiculous. Um, and then like- um, I was, was My hand is going like here. And, <laughs> like, <laughs> and like, well, it's like a natural urge. And then like a couple of people said um, they went to, 
um, you know, she did, they didn't want to like waste the food that was left in their house. So they were, um, um, went to like eat the rest of, I forget what it was, like some kind of donut or something. It's in the testimonials on the site, but I forget, um, eating some donut or something. Um, and it made her like sick to eat it. She had to stop. And she said, normally she just would eat the whole box, you know? Um, and that's what each person said is, um, a lot of people, for some reason that the first night that they do it, um, they end up fasting for like 24 hours out of nowhere, like just a natural fasting. Wow. Um, and then that after that, they, again, it makes them sick to try to eat like sweets. Um, and they just crave more natural, um, more healthy foods. So, so can you go into a little bit of what specifically you're reprogramming the subconscious? Is that what's going on with your program? And um, in, particularly with the diet one and all of them, they're, they're reprogramming the subconscious, right? Is that what's uh, going on? Well, like that's what a subliminal does. Um, yeah. And this is, I think, um, you know, I think people are, would be more comfortable if I said yes to, if I said yes to that. Um, mm. I don't honestly think that's what the energy is doing. Um, what my honest, what I think that it's doing is, especially if it really is like a Phoenix force or, you know, Phoenix is similar to like Shakti energy, whatever, if it really is an energy like that, mm. like people think it is, um, and like a couple shamans and stuff have tested it. Um, what I think it is, is, okay, you know how like everything exists already? So every reality already exists. There's infinite versions of you right now. Quantum right? stuff. Quantum, yes. Okay. So there's infinite versions of you. And I think that what personally, my opinion is what the energy is doing is it's taking, um, say like the version of me that overeats. Um, it's taking me out of this, um, this 3D and it's bringing in the version that I want. So it's destroying one version and birthing another version. Hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so it's, that's what I think. Because uh, there, there's other things, I don't know. How's, how's it, I know this is interesting, fascinating. How is it destroying the older version? Is it the power of something new? Is something, the power of the energy you're doing is so powerful it's destroying the old version? Or is it going, tar like, is it actually targeting the old version? Or is it just focusing like on the newer you in the quantum field so much that it kind of destroys the old you? That makes any sense. Uh, well, the way, you know, I don't think, and this is going to sound like ironic. I don't think mm. that, you know, people pretend to know things mm. that there's no way they can know. I don't think I'll ever know. My goal is like, once I get this ability strong enough, um, yeah. I, will, I will do my own track. I have a tracks for like supernatural intelligence and stuff. I will do all those tracks and I'll figure out the answers like 100% so that I can say I absolutely know at this moment. Um, what I think in the way I focus it is that it's both. Um, so the first part of the session is like, I'll say, um, um, anything, say it's about aging or something like anything to do with non-optimal age. I delete, uncreate and destroy in all space, time and reality. Um, and I'm literally seeing it getting destroyed. And then at the end I say, um, I, and, you know, I bird the version of you that is at optimal age in all space, time and reality. Um, and, and, but I know like in the back of my head, I'm not birthing it. I know it's already exists, but I'm bringing it into this, um, this space to, so to answer your question, I think it's both. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's removing one and it's also like bringing both. And when you're doing it on your own, mm -hmm. like if you wanted to do this by yourself without the Phoenix Force stuff, you would be doing it with just attention. Um, you know, you just keep your attention on that thing you want and you don't let it go to anything else. And that brings it into this experience. So all this stuff you can do on your own. My work is just like a hack. Like if someone doesn't want to do all that mental work, they just buy the track and play it. But yeah, you could do that on your own. You just keep your attention on the version of yourself that has absolute youth. Um, and if you don't bring your attention away from that, then you will it must come into this reality. There's no force on earth that can stop you getting from what you want if you don't bring your attention away from it. If you don't waver, like if you don't doubt it, there's nothing on earth that can stop you. More like that. Mm, she put that as a little quote, that little two minute clip there. That's pretty yeah. good, yeah. So where your attention goes, the energy flows, right? The saying. 
Um, yeah. I've been messing about with my heart chakra, focusing on the heart pump beating, and that's really growing my consciousness like a lot. Like I really believe in that stuff. It's powerful. I didn't used to believe it until recently, but it, I'm getting such massive shifts from the attention stuff. And like you, I'm doing like not just five minutes. I'm like doing it a lot during the day because I'm a geek. So I'm like, yeah, mm, this is powerful stuff. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, I get very extreme about everything. Like I put like a timer on for every 20 minutes. Uh, so I do like these certain exercises like every 20 minutes <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah so i know what you mean <laughs> it's cool. yeah how does this tie in and um, we spoke last time about neville goddard's work uh, let's talk a little bit about that because i'd love to learn a little bit more about his stuff so how does it tie in everything that you, your program with and your energy work and the phoenix with and neville goddard what he talked about how does that tie in well like for me the way it ties in is um Neville Goddard is basically for me the only person that I 100% trust. <laughs> so he's the only person that I, um, when I read his stuff, I I don't have to filter it um, of this is BS, but you know what, this is good. So I'm going to pay attention. BS, 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 good. It's just this person is honest. This person understands reality. <laughs> so basically, to me, Neville Goddard has figured out the mechanisms of reality. Okay. Um, and, and this kind of goes back to like what we were just saying about, um, he would agree with me, you know, that, um, or I agree with him, however you want to say it, cause we're all one, it doesn't matter, but, um, he would say that, um, I'm trying to say, you know, he has books and books and tons of videos and lecture lectures. So I'm going to try to say it shortly. Um, basically what he, <clears throat> what he believes is your entire 3D experience is your consciousness outpictured. okay? He also says that everything already exists and mm -hmm. when you imagine it, when you enter it in your imagination, not just see it like a daydream, but when you enter it in your imagination, mm -hmm. like right now, seeing the ocean around me, feeling the beach under me, smelling the ocean, I am now animating this reality um, if I allow the full feeling in of all the senses and I allow myself to believe I am going to experience this soon, you are animating that experience. So he believes that everything around you um, is your consciousness animated and nothing comes into your experience that you um, didn't put there, basically. You are victim to nothing. You are responsible for everything. Um, and it's just learning it's just learning about that. It's just learning to master it, learning like, oh, okay, I, I have control here. I'm responsible. I can do this. You know, you just have to learn that. Um, and the way that it plays into my work is, again, um, I always tell my, my group is like about um, testing the limits of, of humans. And it's not about my work. Um, you know, I, I give them like many other methods of how to um, try to reach your potential. But and then I, I'm clear with them, like, my work is just a hack. Like, if you want to do it and you want to do that, then then go for it. Then buy a track. Then do do that. You, But I never would tell someone. it's That would literally go against my core belief if I told someone they had to use my track. Because I believe that humans can do anything with their, like, literally anything with their mind. But, um, yeah, like, of course, um, sorry, there's someone else. Um, but, of course, like, you know, if you just want to make your life easier or you can afford it or it's just fun for you, um, yeah. then you can do other hacks. You know what I mean? I don't um, think there's anything wrong with um, what you're doing in terms of this is how I justify it in my mind. Like you spend years dedicating your mastery to something and other people can also have different masteries to you because we've all got different personalities. We've all got different egos and different missions here. So they can do their mission. But if they want something that you offer and you've got yeah. 200 things, so no doubt. And they're amazing things, a lot, all of them. So they want you to do all of them, in my opinion. But yeah, they can use your hack while also developing and focusing just like I'm good at physical health. I'll come to you, maybe do some energy work and I'll come to someone else to do some spiritual work and I'll carry on teaching what I'm good at like it just makes sense to like yeah. for people to come to you but the same and not, it's not even a hack it's more like they got the, they've got their own shit to do and you can you've spent years doing your shit and we collectively sure. raise the vibration by you giving your gift to them um, either paid or free and them giving the gift to you paid or free so it's a sharing thing yeah exactly and I think it's it's completely fine as long as you don't mislead people and tell them this is the only way then yes. it's completely yeah. Mine, which I very clear with them again because I love Neville Goodar. That's like my life. Of course, I would tell them like you can do this on your own. That's the whole point. <laughs> but anyway, and that's partly how 
um, it all came about too. So I always forget this, um, but luckily I wrote it down somewhere. But so at that time I was doing subliminals to awaken an ability, um, but I was also doing Neville Goodard techniques to awaken an ability, and I would do it over and over again. Um, that uh, I don't want to share the um, the focus that I had because it's too private, but um, I was focusing on this one thing over and over again, which meant that I was expressing my own superpower. That's what the, it, it was more than an affirmation. It, you know, it was like a full scene, like a full goal. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't want specifically, I didn't say like, I want supernatural strength or I want Phoenix force or I want, mm. uh, I just said that my most, the gift that I have is going to be expressed fully, you know, um, and that's like when the Phoenix Force thing came about was after doing those Neville techniques. So it was pretty cool, you know. <laughs> and he's an old guy. He's 1940s. This is an old self-improvement thing. And Joey Dispenser, we love them all, but they're kind of, um, we pick, not piggyback, that's the wrong. We're sta they're standing on the shoulder of greats like Neville Goddard, for example, yeah. that went way before Mr. Spencer uh, came along and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like Wayne Goodard, he, I mean, Wayne Goodard, what's his name? Um, Neville Goodard, is he? Wayne Goodard's good one. <laughs> I think the, guy, the guy from now, Wayne. Oh, Wayne, uh, Wayne Dyer. Wayne Dyer? Yes, yeah. Oh. He literally, like his, um, uh, he basically just, he uses all the same words as Neville. He's basically just completely. Oh, he's a carb, I didn't know that. He's a carbon oh, copy yeah. of. Um, it's, yeah. He's regurgitated everything Neville has said, like word for word for word. Mm. Yeah, and then Doc um, Joe uh, Joseph Murphy, um, yeah, he guy. subconscious mind guy. Yeah, very powerful. Yeah. He's mm. um, him and Neville are the only two stu students that we know of that they had the same teacher Abdullah, who traveled to New York to find them. I think from India. Um, so they they both had the same um, teacher, which was Abdullah. Mm. So yeah, so that's cool. But yeah, a lot of people, um, for me, like Neville is just, he's like the most hardcore. He makes no excuses. There's no like roundabout. It's just, yeah. for the operative power, get your shit together. You can do anything. I don't want to hear about anything else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sounds like my guy, my kind of guy too. Hmm. Yeah, and he proved it over and over. He would help people. He wasn't one of those people that would just be in his little lectures and like telling people what to do. He helped people over and over. They would come up to him and say, like, I need um, I need money. I need health. My um, uh, my husband's student is acting up, and we don't think he's ever going to have a happy life. And he would imagine, he does, like, um, the way he does it is he, like, sees the person in that state, like, the good new state, and he's able to, because he's practiced so much, he's able to, only see that and not see them in this undesirable state cool. so he will he will hold that firm for them and it will work and then also um all his students that have tons and tons of um success stories they all do like what he what he uh teaches you know there's certain things to do um and they follow the steps and, and so my point is he walks his walk you know he his talk whatever it's called um so that's also why i like him is because he actually it sounds fascinating you know what you said there reminds me of um uh, the people that are like i know there's a lot of people i like uh, but there's one skill in humans i really like and it's when someone can see you as not who you are but who you could be and that what you just remind me of never goddard apparently doing that's crazy like when you have the powers to like see someone like 10 years down the line in the future and like say they're depressed right now i'm going for tough you're thinking i can see you so strongly as like and they're not just saying it like to be nice that actually can see you like years and years down the line that's a powerful skill to have so never goddard could do that he could see you as your but best right. yeah, exactly but mm. he did it right then like not like 10 years from now like he would insist that they are that version right now and he he thinks that that's the highest calling of man um that he thinks that's what real redemption is is when you look at a man you don't judge him for whatever mm. state he's in you only see him in the best state and you don't waver from that and then it happens <laughs> because you don't waver from it <laughs> you know and like someone like us like, yeah, that's going to take practice. Like, right now, I can't look at my friend, unfortunately, and just change the, like, mm. 
them only the best version of themselves, but I am practicing and I am getting better at it, you know, um, and that's definitely my goal, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, it's crazy stuff. It's cool, though. <laughs> no doubt, because of the amount of hours you put in it, you are probably doing something like a, a quite similar to that version of it, um, doing all you can. And I feel like it was probably his gift to do that. He probably came here to do that. And that was his mastery he focused on. And wow. Yeah, I need to, I remember saying the last one too, I need to read all of his books. I mean, you said there was one book, there was, um, what was it? One one where all of his books you can buy all in one or something. Was that correct? Okay. Um, the Neville Goddard Reader has a bunch of them in one. Um, and I definitely recommend that one because it also has, um, one of his books has like a bunch of the student testimonials in it. Mm. And so it's always fun to read like the accounts that people have had. So, um, yeah, I would definitely start with the Neville Goddard Reader. Mm. And then for people who like learning audio wise, um, which I guess would be people listening to this <laughs> because it's audio, um, he has like tons of lectures. And also, I guess since we're talking about it so much, I should just say, um, in case someone does look it up, don't let yourself get freaked out about him talking about the Bible and God because mm -hmm. people, so people who are, have been traumatized from that culture, um, they never believe it at first. But Neville does not believe in the God that you were taught about or the Bible that you were taught. He very specifically thinks it's a, um, that it's a psychological drama. Okay, so he thinks that you are God. Mm. Like he, is, he will never tell you there's someone outside of you that is God. But he does love the Bible. But it's because he thinks it's like a psychological drama. It's like clues to how the subconscious works. So to give you like a short example, he's saying that Jesus, um, like when Jesus dies, it's your old state, the old man dying. Like say you don't want to be poor anymore. That's the poor man dying, the old man dying. He would say that old state. When Jesus is resurrected, it's the new man, the rich man, whatever new state you want. It doesn't matter. Like whatever state you want, it's that new man rising, um, you know, and having one not serving two masters you know he's completely dead the new one is completely risen um so yeah just if anyone does look it up you know don't like don't worry like some people get turned off by the bible stuff and they think eventually it's going to become like he's telling me i have to believe in the bible it never becomes that <laughs> it's always about that you are the operative power and he just loves he loves the bible and he loves using it as like metaphors yeah. um everything so um it will never become about him telling you that there's ever a power outside of you that's the whole mm. point neville goddard is yeah. and he's and he's i feel like he's right by the way i didn't know that about the bible that it could be interpreted that way like jesus the old self and the resurrection dead makes sense also another point quickly is if you're gonna with, with how i learn is i never get involved with like i i see even myself as flawed in terms of all my philosophies someone's going to disagree with me on something so say with neville goddard even you know, be like, you might disagree with him. So does that mean I discard the baby with the bathwater because, like, he's a legend in something? I'm like, oh, I don't like this one thing he said. Hmm, now I'm just not going to believe anything he says. People do that. They're crazy. And no, I can't relate to that. Like, you pick up from the masters. You learn a little bit from everyone. Well, with someone another Goddard, you learn a lot. And yourself, too. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I hear what you're saying. Um, let's transition a little bit to your program. So I believe is it next Monday you've got um, uh, uh, a gifted program coming up. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, on the 27th on Monday in my group, I'm starting a gifted program and it's live um, every day at noon. And what it is, um, the name of it is... At noon EST? EST? Oh, EST. yeah. Yeah, EST. noon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, what it is, is I go live and I do the, like energy sessions on you, but it's also some practical stuff that you can do for yourself. But anyway, the name of it is Uncertainty, Uncertainty to Victory. Um, so it's about de deleting fear, deleting doubt, um, and bringing out that absolute belief in yourself. But not just that, I mean, those are like just words, but that, you know, I want people, I want you guys to have that feeling of where you're infallible. Like no one can take that away from you. You know um, your worth. You truly have like belief in yourself. You truly feel and are victorious. Um, so, sorry, I forgot to sign out of, um, it's, right. it's like, popping up. um, 
but yeah, so it's, it's five to seven days of energy work and also like practical, um, tips that you can do and stuff. And we're all together for like an hour a day live. Um, and I also give people tracks, um, if they sign up, hopefully people will sign up a little early because they can start using the tracks right away. These are tracks that are, some of them are $175. Um, so, and I'm, you know, giving them with the, the uh, program because I want you to get like as much benefit from this as possible. You know, I want people to feel transformed after. I don't want them to feel like, oh, that was kind of interesting. You know, like I want <laughs> to get yeah. that full, you know, like that full impact, um, mm. you know, to feel unstoppable after. So yeah, it's, um, it starts on the 27th. If you can sign up before that, it'll be good because I can send, you can get started now. Um, and you can go to the website, um, which is fully transformed.com. Um, and there's like a tab for gifted program. You can sign up on there or, and you can read more about it. So when you like talking, you can read like a summary. Um, but you can also just go right to the group if you want, um, and sign up and just make sure you tell when you enter the group and ask to join, there is a question. Do you want to join the, the program? Um, and just say yes if you want to, because then I'll know to send you the tracks and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. so you can go directly to the group, um, or you can go onto the website, which we'll put the links in because I think there's other people with the same group name as mine, so it gets confusing. Um, but it's called Limitless Transformation. Oh. Is it a um, self esteem general? Because you've got 200 programs you offer that are paid. So, this program, how does it work? Is it a generic um, self esteem track? Is it confidence, food, emotional, spiritual? Does oh. It work? oh, yeah. So, it's just from going, it's basically deleting fear. So, it's going from feeling uncertain to mm feeling victorious um it's for confidence belief in yourself um victory it's it is kind of like general but you kind of need that to get started you know what i mean like you don't want to be you need like that foundation um you can't build anything on a foundation of fear you know mm -hmm. so that's what it's mostly about is um it's literally burns fear <laughs> and okay. fear and doubt Cool. Um, yeah. Excite, yeah. Um, burning through fear sounds awesome to me because we've all got fears the more fears we take on the more powerful we become the more we raise in consciousness yeah yeah and um you know like obviously if it, people if they have um it'd probably be like small and intimate so you know people have they need certain they need help with certain things you know they're gonna have access to me for that week and stuff too so um is it by Zoom, Skype, These um, when you say go live with people in the group that's starting next Monday, is it Zoom? It, it? No, it's just live in the group. Um, like I just press live in the group and we go live in the group. Oh, you're Facebook live and we can watch with you. I see. I'm with yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and um, I did like a little mini one before and it seemed to work fine. So, um, yeah, yeah. That's it. I don't know if I answered it. <laughs> yeah that's really really powerful i can't wait to myself to be part of this on next monday and also the tracks here's a question but it's for myself really maybe other people get value from it so um you say you give out free tracks as well um and you can listen to it as much as you like is there anything you you can do to amplify the process as you're listening to the tracks which i which you're saying is very powerful i don't don't doubt it um where, what you, what can you do um at the same time as that listening to your tracks you can do like tons of stuff you know a lot of people don't you know like the point of it is that they don't have to do anything else but of course like the more you do they, they were designed so that uh, you know i never wanted to make a product that was like oh you have to believe in it you have to do this you have to do that like but yeah. yes if you do do extra stuff it will work faster um and i do like give them full directions with it but some of the weirder stuff like the weirder answer is like for me i have um uh like Careful, are you sure you want to reveal this information to us? <laughs> oh yeah, no one is gonna do this. Okay, okay. if you do this great, you'll get fast results. Okay. On these, like, okay, so first of all, the the tracks are it's it's kind of like loud annoying white noise because it's amplified so much. But what you do is um you're not supposed to stick it in your ear, okay? Which I give them like directions for this. You mm. play it, whether it's on your phone or your laptop, you stick mm. in your little earbuds and you put it in your clothes, okay? So that, remember, it's energy coming out of the 
earbuds. It's not something you have to listen to. It's right. just energy your body's absorbing. So you can stick them in your clothes. You're getting the energy. You can cut if it's too loud or whatever. Um, you can cover it with a blanket or a shirt or sit on them and then it won't be loud. What I do to amplify it is I put like these ear things on and I blast them on speakers and I put the speakers on my body and I meditate like that for like an hour with this blasting oh. like, noise. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so I do that three times a day. Hmm. <laughs> three, three, one hour sessions a day of that. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> um, and all night. I do all night. <laughs> You're weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's very intense but i but i feel like i'm like it's my responsibility because if i can get if i can get my ability strong enough then that means other people i can get to the point where they play the track once and get full results you know what i mean if i do all this extreme work and i get strong enough then other people can do less and less work and they can just play it once and right become, on you know so that's why i just feel like it's like my responsibility to get as good as i can you know Love it. Yeah. um mm -hmm. so other things you can do with it like um i do write it in the directions you can do like 10 minutes you put the earbuds like 10 minutes on each chakra um just it, just like med even if you just meditate like barely meditating i just mean like opening your energy relaxing mm. um putting the earbuds on each chakra for 10 minutes just doing that a couple times a day, you will get faster results than everyone else, you know? Um, and then obvious, the obvious stuff that like every, no one does this in my group, but um, obviously if you do stuff like fasting, cleansing, um, all that stuff, just like everything else, you're gonna get faster results. No one does that. I have like one friend who does that, you know, and he gets- I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can do like the full protocol if you want, you know, you'll definitely, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, oh God, yeah. So I don't know if I answered the question. But. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that information. So it's a very powerful program. That's what you designed it for to do anyway, to have ma magical results. But if you yeah. want to, you can amplify it. And I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait. I, I've i always been interested, but now I'm really fully on board with the idea of what you're saying. Energy work is something I really want to master myself in my own different way. Uh, my sexual energy, energy just generally is pretty crazy these days. I'm doing a lot of meditations. So yeah, yeah. I'm well up for um this program. So let's um, get the information out. Um, you said your site earlier. Do you want to repeat information on, first of all, your Facebook group, when you're going to go live um, and your in a website too for paid programs. Talk a little bit about that as well, please. Um, okay. So the website, which is also fun because even though that's like where the, the paid programs are, there's still like um, a lot of testimonials and stuff on there that you can just see like what's going on in general. That's fully transform.com. And then um, the group, which there is links from that, um, from the website, it's called Limitless Transformation. Um, I do think there's other groups with that name, though, so it might get confusing. Um, but it's Limitless Transformation. Isn't and it under your Facebook? If they go to your Facebook page, right? Yes. The left-hand uh, side, top left, I found it, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I think if you just put in, my name is Winter Candigallo, but we'll put in, like, the links um, mm -hmm. But yeah, my personal page has some links for the group. Um, my the website has some links for the group, and then also the Instagram is where all the before and afters go, and that also has links to the group straight from that and links to the website. And that is um, Phoenix Fire Transforms. I might change that to um, fully transformed to match the um, website if that's mm -hmm. available. But it's Phoenix Fire Transforms, and that has like all the stuff there too, all the links and everything. So, <laughs> this is exciting. I can't wait for this gifted program. And I mean, it's great that you're doing this gifted service, but at the same time, we're talking about it. Your program is, I feel, as well, and you, you join matches, is, is well worth paying for these kind of things, and it's good for people to invest in too. And, but I think, I feel like, um, You've done the right thing as well by gifting in a way because then it's going to show people real life you want to talk about real life results people are going to get real life wow it's not half results like i said earlier they only get 100 percent results and therefore they'll be like hmm i want to do more with you and quite rightly and that's a good way for them to, to sample you for free and then go for more and they'll be addicted and it's good mm -hmm. yeah and i i really like i really hate that like bait and switch kind of thing where people are like 
come to my free program and then yeah. you listen to all this annoying free stuff that you already know and then after the week they're like and then you can pay ten thousand dollars to join <laughs> like mm. no i don't trust you at all now why would i do that <laughs> you know what i mean like um so you know i just tried to find something that i was like comfortable giving but giving the full thing and not like part of it um mm. and you know i think it's a good time for that um yeah yeah. You know, obviously people, we're all going through like our own fears right now and stuff. Um, Talk about but, that a little bit. So what's your, um, um, it's your mm, thoughts on what is going on now? Is that is it a good thing, a bad thing? Or is it going to, yeah, you know, do we need to worry about this? To worry about what? Sorry. What's going on in the world right now? Um, oh. you know, the madness of the, the virus. and. Well, you know, I mean, I don't think so. I think it's like, it's something it's absolutely necessary um you know how you know people have been saying for years that this is like the time of the the awakening and you know everyone or most of us you know thought that was kind of crazy because you would look around at the state of the world and there's so much violence and um you know children trafficking and literally just the culture is a culture of denial and lies and not being heart-centered our entire global culture was mm -hmm. Um, a culture of being out of alignment. So it was hard to believe that the awakening was coming. But like, think about what happened. First of all, you have to remember that we're all one. We're all one great consciousness. We're all connected. You're never gonna get away from that fact whether you believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. the yeah. other thing is if you think about it on a micro level, okay? Mm -hmm. Like if you have an illness or say wh whatever it is, whether it's an emotional thing you're dealing with or a physical, what happens is it builds and it builds the, uh, you know, the emotional toxins, the spiritual toxins, all, the physical, whatever that thing is that you're dealing with, it builds and it builds and it builds. Now picture the globe. It's been building and building. Think of how many toxins, how much crap is going on, building, building, building. Then what happens after when your body can't sustain anymore? You purge, you purge it. Okay, so then you're purging, and that's what's happening globally, is we're purging. Mm. And um, after that, what happens? You either die or you grow. Okay, if the person can't accept, um, you know, there's plenty of people who just won't accept their lesson. They won't, um, they just stay in denial to literally that moment that they die. Okay, yeah. so mm. you either mm. die or you grow. And that's like what is happening right now. And then you never really die, right? So you just come right. Back. You die right now. Yeah, your your bot, your little avatar. Yeah. Goes foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little toy. It's like a little game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little, little <laughs> Malfunction. Okay. Um, but so after after the um, you know, after you purge, and this is both macro and micro, then you have that growth spurt. So that's like, we basically have to do this right now to get to that other side. We have to purge all this energetically. Um, it's happening like on every single level with, you know, we have the virus, which is physical. Um, we have the energetic, which is people are going to be shifting into being more heart centered, um, more giving, more loving, um, more service centered. We have like in the government, things are getting purged. All the sex trafficking rings are going to get uncovered during this time. Um, a lot of the new world order is going to go down during this time. There, no one can escape it because it's this huge macro um, energetic shift. It doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter if you think it's planned or not planned. I don't give a shit if it's planned or not planned. It's happening because the energy is making it happen anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all, it's so, no, I don't think there's anything to worry about. I think it's like a very exciting time. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need this. What did you want to live? You wanted to live in like denial, evil, blood draining like <laughs> world, or do you want to move past that? You know what I mean? I mean, me, you, and the light workers and people watching this, a lot of us have been living the right way for a long time, but it's nice to see now that the whole world is going to be slowly not just coming along with us and it's been forced on them. So it's good. Like you said, the energies, um, you explained it really well, something I can't explain very well, but I do understand logically what you're saying. It makes sense emotionally. Yeah. So now it's, it are just going to rise up slowly and it's good to see that it's not just going to be us now. It's a, it's, we're playing at like a macro level. It's uh, energies that can't be stopped and it's not right. about belief. 
belief. It's not about belief, almost like the belief that um, life after death is not a belief, like we don't die. It's, these are not beliefs. These are just facts. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I think it's exciting. It's a good excuse to party. It's not anything to be upset about. <laughs> you know, right. it must happen. It absolutely must happen, so... Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited for what's to come, Winter, and I'm super excited for your program on Monday and all the things. And I know I'm going to get results, and I don't even think it's placebo. I'm like, I know what you're talking about makes sense, and um, yeah, I look forward to um, experiencing it and watching you. I loved your live, by the way. I watched last week. Was it? Um, no, a few days ago I watched one of your you, live. You did a few. Di um, yeah, I think it was last week. It was really good. So yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Nice. Was that the love and light one or the? Yes, love and light. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That <laughs> yeah, yeah cool thank you for watching that i appreciate it <laughs> that's all right you're an awesome human being so thanks for joining us today and um i hope people watching this have got a lot of value from you and are open-minded and up for the challenge of uh, of the free gift that you're giving them um of the your program and experiencing it just like just as i will next week and i'll post we'll post the links of um all the stuff the information they can find you between now and then and yes thank you very much for watching everybody and thank you winter for joining us it's listing of harry with winter Thanks.